Hello, coming to you live here from sunny Barcelona at the Mobile World Congress 2016. It's been a very exciting day, loads of new announcements and we're uh, going to tell you about a few of them in a moment. Wait a minute, this isn't Barcelona. Costa del Braden, it's the same thing really, isn't it? As you can see, it's a very busy and popular event. This is where the majority of the handsets for 2016s are announced. Leading straight into LG's brand new flagship phone, the uh, LG G5. It even comes in pink. Life's good. Samsung have also announced the S7 and S7 Edge. Which we're going to touch a lot more on later on. We've also had a shock announcement from Sony bringing out a brand new range of phones called the X-Range. Now something for our dual SIM users, the ZT Blade V7. Something new from Alcatel too, we've also got a new range of entry level smartphones called the Pop 4 range, but we'll also Alcatel you about that a little later. Today we're going to be focusing on Samsung. We've got the S7 and the S7 Edge, and we're going to be talking about design first. The S7 is the same size as the S6. The S7 Edge, however, is a little bit bigger now at 5.5 inches compared to the S6's 5.1 inches. So Samsung have brought back a popular feature, perfect for Manx weather. The phone's been awarded an IP rating of 68, which makes it water and dust tight for 1.5 meters for up to 30 minutes. One thing that Samsung have focused on this year is improving the whole mobile gaming side of the phones, which is exciting news for any of you people that enjoy mobile gaming out there. They've actually introduced a new API called the Vulkan. Basically all it means is that when you're playing the game on the phone there's a lot less lag, it drains your battery a lot less and it just makes the whole gaming experience a lot better for yourself. Another great feature that Samsung have brought back is expandable memory. Which means you can now put an SD card of up to 200 gigabytes inside the phone. Another key focus of Samsung this year has been to improve the battery life, which to be fair is the biggest complaint about smartphones. You can see they've improved the battery on the S7 to 3000 milliamp hours, and the S7 Edge has actually got 3600 milliamp hours, which means you shouldn't struggle to get a full day out of your phone and you can just watch videos and play music for hours on end now. We've made fast charging even faster. Which now means that on the S7 you'll get a full charge in 90 minutes, or on the slightly bigger S7 Edge it'll take 100 minutes. Another great improvement for Samsung is the camera. They've actually reduced the megapixels from 16 to 12, however, they've put another sensor in there, which means it actually focuses twice as fast as the old one. They've actually advertised the autofocus on the new phone as being as quick and accurate as if you were to use your own eyes. And finally, a new feature from Samsung is always on display, which means you'll never miss a notification again. It's even clever enough to know when it's in your pocket, handbag, or even when your battery's low. And that's all from us here today at the Mobile World Congress in sunny Barcelona. Join us tomorrow for more info and updates, and we'll be giving you more info on the new LG G5. And if you are interested in the S7 or the S7 Edge, follow this link, and you can register your interest.